I've turned my voice on. You can hear me. That's good. Good morning. Good to have you with us. Um, it's not raining right now, and that's good. Uh, we've had a lot of moisture. I, 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 uh, as I told someone this morning, I'd rather have a glass of water than a cup of sand, so we'll have to enjoy that. Already being rural people, I've already heard it twice now this morning. Yeah, it's supposed to be real dry this summer. Uh, we get rain and the next thing is, yeah. Uh, one special announcement this morning, uh, Dolores Johnson passed away on, on Thursday and her funeral will be uh, Monday at two o'clock at the Oliver Nathan Funeral Chapel. So keep that in mind. That is something that is, I think, new information for, for many of you. Uh, this morning, I am going to do something special for the uh, sermon, children's sermon, and the sermon for the um, wiser people will be the same. <laughs> uh, what I will be doing this morning is try to keep the, keep the uh, sermon on a level that we can all understand. There are announcements in your bulletins, and not the least of which is the one regarding uh, the special meeting today following the service, uh, regarding uh, what to do with the uh, parsonage. And uh, so keep that in mind, stick around. Um, I imagine that uh, Kent, where is Kent? There you go, you'll kind of take over, right? Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I, I've already been um, surprised this morning. I, good friends here. And uh, sitting with my wife, uh, Dr. Marilyn Guy, she's friend, there from uh, Fargo, and uh, she has her tiny little husband with her, Bill Guy Jr., and good friends of ours. And uh, just happy to have you here. I told her none of this though. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of straightened me out and I said, no, um, the newsletter has been sent out and, and in the newsletter I make it pretty evident that without my hearing aids, I'm deaf. And with them, I still don't hear well. So we need to uh, look forward to a new pastor or something as, and try to get our energies focused on that as soon as we, we can because I, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And pulpit supplies, preaching is easy for me as you probably can tell already, but the rest of the stuff, you need to have someone that can hear. <laughs> you do. And someone that can be around and, and do the things that a pastor should be doing. So I'll, I'll leave it with that. So we'll begin our worship. <clears throat> Please rise. <clears throat> In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people. Turn us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. 
We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name, amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive with Christ. By grace, you've been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Our gathering hymn. 373. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Please join as we pray together the prayer of the day. Eternal and mighty God, with all the angels and all the saints, we laud your majesty and might. By the resurrection of your Son, show yourself to us and inspire us to follow Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. And this is information you should probably know that Pastor Jove and I, Jovic and I both graduated from Mayville State, which we call the Harvard of the North. <laughs> First reading is from Acts, Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. Meanwhile, Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The word of the Lord. The response of reading is Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have lifted me up. 
O Lord, my God, I cried out to you. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. Sing praise to the Lord, all you faithful. God's wrath is short. God's favor lasts a lifetime. While I felt secure, I said, You, Lord, with your favor made me as strong as the mountains. I cried to you, O Lord. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. You have turned my wailing into dancing. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. A reading from Revelation. Revelation chapter 5, verses 11 through 14. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, singing with full voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing to the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped the word of the Lord. Holy Gospel according to John, the 21st chapter, beginning at verse 1. Please rise. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas, called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. And they said to him, we'll go with you. They went out, got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. And Jesus said to them, children, have you no fish, have you? They answered, no. He said to them, cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you'll find some. So they cast it. And now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragged the net full of fish, for they were not far from land, but only a hundred yards off. When they'd gone ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard, hauled the fish net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And there were so many that the net still was not broken. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, who are you? because they knew it was the Lord. 
Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said to him, yes, Lord, I know. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he'd said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten your belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. I've got something uh, special prepared this morning, and I would like to have the children come forward. As I set this up, come on up. Something special up here. Hey, uh, I've done some, some drawing for you. So you need to look this way. And if I get this right, now for those of you that uh, are out there a ways, these. Uh, this story is one that I think applies very well to the text because there are about six different portions of this gospel this morning that can be used, but I think the most profound one is the one where we feel the effort of human people to know who God is, and we're not sure and God is a lot more generous than you can imagine. And I want to tell you a story. And it goes like this. There once was a tree, and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come, and he would gather the leaves from the tree. And he would make with the leaves a crown for his head, and he'd play king of the forest. He'd climb up her trunk, swing from the branches, and he'd eat the apples. And they would play hide-and-go-seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in the shade of the tree. And the boy loved the tree very much. 
and the tree was happy. And time went by, a long time went by, and the boy grew older. And the tree was often all alone. I can't imagine. Yeah, there's, is there two people under that tree, huh? Yeah. And then one day, the boy came to the tree, and uh, he said, the tree said to to him, come boy, come and climb my trunk, swing from my branches, eat my apples, play in my shade, and be happy. Well, the boy said, I'm too big to climb and play. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you'll have money and you'll be happy. So the boy climbed up the tree, gathered her apples, and carried them away. And the, and the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And he said, I'm too busy to climb trees. And the tree was sad. The boy said, I want a house to keep me warm. And one day the boy came back and the tree shook and said, come, swing, and I'll be happy. But the boy said, I want a house. I want a wife and children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my home. But you may cut off my branches and build a house, and then maybe you'll be happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the tree was so happy he could hardly speak. Come, boy, he said, come and play. I'm too old and sad. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. So the boy cut down her trunk, made a boat, and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing. On I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. Oh, I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightened herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. 
Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. <laughs> and the boy did. And the tree was happy. This story was written by a very successful Jewish writer by the name of Shel Silverstein. And he has some other stories that are very profound. Uh, this story is interesting because it, it shows something about how selfish we as human beings are and in spite of ourselves, how God, good God is to us. He gives us all we need when we are not really sure of how we can get it. And, and uh, that tree was very, very kind, wasn't it? That tree is a good example of how God is kind to us. Should we pray? God, we thank you for what you give us. Even when we don't know what we need, you take care of us. Be with these children. Be with this congregation. Help us as we are thankful for our needs, as we are blessed by you. In your name we pray. Amen. Now, I didn't forget today. I didn't forget. Now, I'm, I'm going to hand them out this time, okay? Is that all right? If I hand them out? There you go. There you go. Who's that? Anybody else? I'm sure some of you adults are thinking, you know, I should have had out some apples today. Um, I, that thought entered my mind, but I thought, oh, that probably wouldn't be too wise. Uh, not in the middle of service. Um, uh, the hymn of the day is uh, hymn number 696. Please join as we confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed as found on page 126. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. 
for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. For on the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please join as we pray for ourselves and those in our midst in need. Respond with, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we are mindful of the Johnson family as they grieve the loss of Dolores. Be with them, it's this very special time of need. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Heavenly Father, we pray for Clara Bredesen, Bate Faust, Mavis Johnson, Diane Cog, Diane Cork, Maxine Peterson, Loretta Zacherson, Wes Songer, Carmen Janish, Karen Smedshammer, Jerome and Ardell Miller, Samuel Hill, Carla Resinet, Marley, Marty Lundy, Annetta Schultz, Lori Hill, Bonnie Wick, Sue Olson, Rory Mulvaney, Steve Nitsche, Arlene Ratzloff, Wes Peterson, Mary Schramm, and others whom we name in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Heavenly Father, we continue to pray for people in, in the Ukraine. We pray for the country, and we pray that the aggressor would see the evil of their way and reconcile in manners which is peaceful to all the world. Be with us that we may support the people, the Ukrainians, and support all people who suffer in need of want and, and need of food and, and peacefulness and res resolution. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Heavenly Father, we reach out to the people in this city who struggle with the difficulties of the abundance of water and be with them and keep them safe and allow them to, to resolve whatever the problem is, wherever the leak is, help them to know that the dam is able to do the job and that we have people who are willing to help. Lord, in your mercy, Heavenly Father, we reach out to each family in this congregation, to this congregation, to its leadership, to the call committee. Help them to understand, do, see, serve, and be welcomed and welcoming to a new pastor. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you do for us. Help us to give thanks, to give thanks in the midst of our suffering. In your name we pray, amen. At this time, I'd invite you to greet each other as we share of God's peace. How do we go? At least we can do that. Yeah.
We'll continue our worship as we receive our gifts of tithes and offerings. Please be seated. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In like manner, he took the cup, blessed it, and gave it to all, saying, This is the blood of the new covenant given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins, do this in remembrance of me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come and eat. The table is ready.
Now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you. Amen. Our closing hymn, ascending song number 389. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord's face out, shine his face on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. meeting quick like so please do not go out we need to have a quorum <laughs>